right, let's take a look at this guy. There she is. Last flight before the new paint job. And as you can see, she really needs it. It's kind of badass, huh? Works well, that is. My 1970 PA39 Piper Twin Comanche needs a paint job. Well, actually it needed one yesterday, but sometimes you gotta let finances and such dictate when things will actually get done. Let's see, the paint's really in rough shape. Bare aluminum everywhere. When I bought the plane, the paint was in marginally better condition than you see it here. I knew it would need a new paint job eventually, but figured it would be a few years down the road, hopefully. But I've flown many hours of hard IFR, including a seven hour trip from Texas to Virginia that was in hard driving rain for nearly the entire trip. These kinds of trips and that kind of weather can take a beating on paint that is already clinging on for life. And as you can see in these clips, it's gotten to the point where the paint is basically falling off the plane with any friction. Now, aside from the poor looking aesthetics, this is not good for the plane as the bare aluminum is showing through. While clean now with no signs of corrosion, paint is really the best line of defense over the elements and the airframe of your plane. Left unattended, this plane will start to really be at the mercy of the elements, especially while I have it not in its hangar, and the next thing you know, there might be corrosion starting on this bare metal. Guy. These emblems here, these logos, which, hey, bye bye. So, when I realized it was time to start thinking about a new paint job, I started with some searching of examples that are out there already in the field. There are a million ways to paint a plane, from simple to amazingly complex, from factory schemes to completely unique, one of a kind custom jobs. So I started with a search on just general air paint schemes. Then I tried to narrow it down to twin specific paint schemes. And then finally, I searched for twin Comanche specific paint schemes to get an idea of what I would like or not like. I'm pretty sure the scheme on mine was the factory scheme for the most part, I believe. And here's an example that looks pretty darn close to what's on my plane. So I had to consider whether I wanted to pay homage to its roots or start over completely with something new and modern. So I did the requisite search and research rather about what makes a good paint job. What are the things to avoid? What are telltale signs of good paint shops? And what are the signs of ones you should avoid? So I reached out to several shops all across the eastern half of the United States and was pretty taken aback at the quotes I was receiving. I mean, I guess I knew it would be as expensive to paint an airplane, uh, especially doing it the right way with the chemical strip down to the bare metal and then building it back up. But I guess I underestimated just how expensive painting a twin really can be. But anyway, through a recommendation, I found a shop that was highly regarded for good quality work at a very competitive rate. And after speaking with the owner and discussing their paint process, I decided to go with them. A big part of that was the design services he offered at no additional charge. Here are some of the ideas we discussed and that I tweaked over and over, trying to find the paint scheme I was going to go with. But if you think I'm going to tell you here today which one I chose, I'm sorry to disappoint you. That reveal will be saved for when I pick up the plane later. Once I had decided upon my final paint scheme, there was only one thing left to do, and that was to get my plane down to the shop. So on a gorgeous day, I took off and headed down to Alabama. Clear prop.
time I see this girl, I'll have a whole new paint job. Say goodbye. It's here at the field. The painter's already checked her in. We've confirmed all the uh, paint co choices, color choices, color chips, all that good stuff. I think I'm actually going to have them put on, put on some new wingtip lights. So they put in the uh, LEDs instead of these old ones. Then it'll match the LED beacon back there, and it'll match the LED landing lights and the wings and the wingtips. But uh, there she is, the last time. Next time I see it, it'll look a lot different.